is a campus of care located in the west end of Vancouver in beautiful British Columbia. We're all on one site and physically we're all connected. So if you're an elder living independent housing, you can walk through our main area and interact with someone who's actually in the nursing home. It creates a wonderful flow and uh, is truly aging in place, which is a great concept and I believe we were one of the first in the Lower Mainland to implement this concept of care. As our staff is very diverse, very multicultural, and so are our elders. Any community you can name, we have it here at Harrow Park Centre and that's wonderful. I think we're a very tolerant community and um, that makes us, I believe, really special. Harrow Park Centre has done the work, has built the model, I think, for all of not only Canada, but I think, I don't know what else is out there, but it's the best thing I've seen going, where people are free and independent. And, and the people in here, is, I, I think it's a very much a content-driven project. People really believe in the, the concept of it. it. It's just that the concept hasn't really gotten out yet. But, pe but the whole idea is that maintaining your independence with dignity as you get older, as you get sick, to die with dignity to die surrounded by love as, as well as medicine. You know, it's not one or the other. I think you can have both. I think they found the balance. For years I've talked about Harrow Park and said it's, the, it's got the best name in Vancouver for, for seniors. Culturally, we're, we're supposed to look after our parents. We're supposed to take them in and uh, she'll, she loves being with us for momentarily for a day or two. After that, she gets tired of us and she wants her own, her own group, her own peers, her own, her own um, age-related uh, uh, people. The doctors said, no, she can't live by herself. And it just wasn't going to work having her in, at home because both myself and my wife were working and uh, trying to take care of somebody full-time would just wasn't going to work. Our hearts were set to come back here and then when, the, when she was ready luckily uh, a, a unit came through and so um, this was our first choice and I'm glad we waited out. It's, it's worked out really well. The staff are really accommodating for, for her, her needs. The staff here reassured me that whatever she could do at home she was able to do here. She was, she was able to leave uh, that evening we took her to the mosque, made sure that the mosque people and the, and the services brought her back in here and so that continued and, and she was happy. So. I get every, everything I need here, you know, they're very good with me and I have, I've made so many friends here from all the time, all the years I've been here. And it's like family and I think that's one of the big things about Harrow Park is that we are a family and people stay with us a long time. You could be with us for 20 years. We've had people living here since we opened in 1980. Some of our staff have been here as long or longer than some of our residents. So that says something about the facility, I think, when staff have been here a long time. Our average length of stay for staff is 10 years. And really what that means is trying to create a really home-like environment where our elders feel supported. We have uh, a really strong core of dedicated volunteers who actually put in probably more hours than staff. So we have some people that come every day, they're so connected, they know the residents, they're part of the family. I mean, it's a very interesting, well you know, an interesting place. There's always something new and different going on downstairs, you know. We all live longer if we feel like we're contributing. Absolutely. There was a personal touch, there was uh... There was friendliness, and the, the most important thing was cleanliness. Everything was clean, it was, it was immaculate. I mean, the staff is very friendly. Um, I mean, given that we're here almost every day, we, we know most, <laughs> most of the staff. So it's, hi, how are you doing? How are the mums doing? And all this kind of stuff. So it's, it's almost like a, an extended family. They all communicated with each other so well that everybody on a different shift knew what, was, what had gone on or, or where she would be. So that level of communication transpired right to the, to the, to the, to the detail and, uh, and, and, and we appreciated that, you know. Um, right from her room staff to her floor to the kitchen staff knew what was happening to her. It is a really rich 
facility and I believe the care is excellent. This feels like a home. It's a place I would put my mother or my father and hopefully myself. So, um, and I think everybody that works here truly believes that and I, that's what makes this place really special. Harold Park came up in the, in, in the lottery <laughs> and uh, we've been totally happy with it. Uh, Ever since? This was probably the most wonderful experience. We, we felt she was comfortable and to the end. Uh, she was happy here. She made a lot of friends. Well, I would say uh, this was her home and um, she loved it. She loved it here. It's just a very special place to live and I just feel very blessed to be here because uh, I'm so well looked after and it's lonely. And one of the charities we support is the Harrow Park Center, and the reason we do is because they have done the hardest part of the work, which is finding the solution and creating the solution, and all they really need is, is wind in the sails. So they just need people to value it. They just need people to support it with money, yes, of course, with money, but with some time, too.